question. Um, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about myself first. Um, I was born in Congleton, in Cheshire. Um, I lived there all my life, with the exception of travelling around for work. And I lived there today with my two young daughters, eight and ten, who were uh, both going to school in the area. Um, as far as my public service goes, I was a councillor, I was a councillor for many years. Um, and it was during that time that I kind of became connected to a lot of the voluntary organisations and voluntary groups that operate within uh, the, the borough that I live. Um, but it wasn't until 2006, when I was elected mayor, that I really began to see for the first time how vital the voluntary sector is in everything that we do, in all, in all spheres of public life. Um, and it was a privilege and an honour for me to work alongside those partnerships and with those voluntary organisations during that year that I was mayor. And I'm happy to say I continued that. I was so excited and driven by what I found during my time as mayor that I continued to do that, with, especially many of the youth organisations um, in the town. Um, I also sit on the national executive of UKIP. This is not a political election, but the national executive is a management body. And so I have experience on a day-to-day -day basis with managing a national organisation, very much like the police commissioner will have to manage the budget and the goals that he has set. Um, and uh, really, that's what I'm going to come speak about now. And that, what is this election all about? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's about you. It's about every one of you. It's about your families and your children and your communities. And it's about one of us, one of us here this morning, being elected and being your eyes and your ears and your voice, and, and building that bridge between you, the public, and the people who serve you, the police force, the police service. And I think you're going to have to be very strong to be that force. I think you're going to have to be really tenacious as well, and quite hard faced at times, because at times it's not going to be easy, and you're going to have to make uncomfortable decisions, maybe hold to account the chief constable. And to do that, you're going to need the confidence and tenacity to speak on your behalf and to put your problems and worries and fears and concerns above everything else. I do believe that our police service in Britain is the finest in the world. I, I truly believe that. And I think it's a reputation that is well deserved. And if you vote for me as your police commissioner, then I will ensure that we can maintain that reputation, but at the same time creating a role that will mean you will have a voice, a voice that you haven't have been able to have before. And I would welcome the opportunity to be that voice for you. Thank you.